Hello everybody, ladies and gentle honks. How's it going? I have stuff. Uh, it's all the way from over 100 or like, a, a lot of miles away. Uh, from Cornwall. So a very close in Cornwall I've been this week. And I have picked up some stuff. It's a lot of good stuff. So, yeah, I'm very, very excited. Because <coughs> I've been sitting on this stuff, not literally, for like a week. So our first things first, I went to the local news agents up in Cornwall, and they have some magazines. So I got this from the Double Smiths one, so it's the latest Minecraft one. Uh, I've been wanting a boat set for a while, I've been wanting a little Minecraft boat. I just want a minecart at some point, but I got the boat and another drowned for my, uh, my army of drowned people. We'll be building this set up later in the video. <clears throat> And we have the Lloyd suit mat, this is from a local news agent in a small village that I was staying at. Uh, but I think this is a, a previous issue? Which, which episode issue is this? This 16. Uh, that doesn't help. But uh, the, the set itself, I think it's the set pretty much, again, like I do with magazines. Uh, the set I know is something on my was on my eBay slash Amazon wish list. It's like 8 quid retail, though, because the magazine's like 5, so... And I could use the magazine or something for collage or something like that. And also there's posters in here, so I might use the posters. So yeah, two magazines. Um, and then I also went to a gaming store in the city of Truro. I think it's a city, because that's beautiful. But we have um, Copy of Driver 3. Pound 50 might have overpaid slightly, but I wanted the Platinum Edition of Driver 3. Yes. Uh... I wanted to copy Driver 3 for a while for PS2 because it is hilariously broken, Mitch. A very broken game. Um, we also have another rare weird game, uh, Big Mother Truckers 2. Like, I don't know if I can share this on YouTube, don't worry about uh, the, the, the girl. Uh, it's just, yep, funny game. Uh, Big Mother Truckers is a very weird, I don't know if there's another one, but series, air uh, quotes, of two games we did a series, of Fate of trucking games. Uh, you, it's kind of like if uh, you're a truck sim, kind of, or American truck sim, I guess. But uh, there's, there's 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 bandits and motorbike gangs and police and weird shit you have to deal with and weird missions. And uh, this one also has aliens in it as a possible thing that can interrupt your trucking adventure. So yeah, I'm looking forward to having a go at that. But most importantly, this is what I actually wanted to get from there. This was the rarest game of the lot, five pound fifty. Uh, Hot's Velocity X. It's just it's my childhood in a nutshell. It's the, one of the first sort of video games I ever played. It's just ah, it's so good. Look at this. Mm. Look at the Hot Wheelses. Mm. Okay, the graphics are not amazing, but oh, it's so nostalgic. I'm a very happy goose. That was those. Uh, they also had there something else weird. We had some crayons. So, uh, I previously picked up, um, I can't remember which one it was, Hot Shot or something, from my city, from my carpet so a while back. This is a five pack, which was also five quid, which is pretty damn good, honestly. Also, we have the important ones, so Optimus, uh, Sentinel, Megatron, most important in sound waves, so two and two, and a secret fifth one, which I don't know which one this could be. So, we will open this one up, actually, because, yeah. I've probably ruined the retail value of it now, but oh well. So, um, since these are just buildable figures... Oh, we actually get to have the screens of building one as well. So we have Optimus. Like, actually, I guess you could also, like, mix and match the figures as well, right? You can have sort of a look at the pieces. Interestingly enough, Optimus actually has wheels as well. This one does, which is kind of interesting. So, I mean, I guess he would because, you know, he's a Transformer, but... You get what I mean, right? Um, <clears throat> there's little wheels. Push them in. I don't think he can sort of become a... He can't really transform, though. Sort of. Uh, where did... Where is... I guess there's instructions in there somewhere, but... Where does these go? Oh, do they go on, like, the wheels? No, I guess not, right? Or on the back of his arms, maybe. Yeah, the back of his arms, I guess. Because they're his, like, truck vents or something. 
Oh yeah, it's those Optimus. He's, he's... And his weapon, which is that kind of like big boom tube thing. I like these because I think they're more inspired by like the uh, the traditional animated series rather than the you know the the Michael Bay movies, which is nice. We have Optimus. He's a huge lad. He can kind of stand. You would, you would think that having more weight on his legs would make it easier for him to stand up, but no. <clears throat> and next up, we'll build up Sentinel Prime. Sentinel Prime. I don't know who Sentinel Prime is. I'm guessing he's like kind of. Is he like a different version of Optimus, or is he like Optimus's brother or mate or <clears throat> sibling, friend, random, assorted? Quote. Interesting how they got a similar kind of heads as well, similar faces. Or maybe just I'm just seeing blue eyes, and I'm like, yep, that makes sense to me. It is cool how they've got like the. The pins in the legs. I guess the legs are quite standardized and stuff, with legs and arms. But it is cool that you can kind of mix and match and customize if you wanted to. I'm not sure what Sentinel Prime's weapon is supposed to be, but it's a cool weapon. It's two. He he's kind of she has a way better time of easier time of standing up than Optimus though. Maybe I put his gun down actually. There we go. That will, that will suffice. Uh, next up we have Megatron, so uh, let's move over. <laughs> move over Autobots, the Decepticons are here. I was actually playing last, uh, not last Wednesday, but Wednesday before, I was actually playing the Transformers PS2 game, and oh boy, oh boy, it's, 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 it, it's, it's a game, it's certainly a game, uh, it's certainly, certainly is a game that exists. They have head... Megatron famously turns into a gun, but also in some versions of... I mean, Megatron in the movie turns into, like, a lot of things, to be fair, so... But, yeah, I, I understand he normally turns into a gun, which is funny as fuck to me. And there's Megatron, who's gonna blow up some stuff. I have, like, a full, like, Transformers battle scene somewhere in my Japanese city at some point, as soon as I start building actual city. It is cool you get, like, t guaranteed 2 and 2, the to Decepticons and, um, Autobots, which is, yeah. <clears throat> I need to like how Soundwave has just, Soundwave just has this, like, little scope pistol, effectively. But it is a good... Interestingly, on the box art, his gun is actually a different color, which is weird, but oh well. Soundwave, and the last mystery one... Uh, is that like Starscream or something? Like, like uh, it's a Decepticon. I think it is Starscream. I think which would be very useful because that then means that I think the other one I got Hotshot was an Autobot. That means there's like three and three then, and also having Starscream would be immensely useful. I think this is Starscream. I think I am not sure, but it's also cool to get like, the wing pack piece. Actually, it's actually pretty cool. I could do with just one of those pieces, one for mech build, for, for like mech fig build, honestly. Mm -hmm. And he has like double... Double gun. What a lab. But that's still not all. I might, I might... I guess the packaging does kind of show you which one it is, maybe, unless it's that you're not guaranteed to get this exact one. <clears throat> Then if, oh wait, no, the silhouette is of sound wave, actually, technically. So, but yeah, that's cool. Five little Transformers figures, which is very nice. Um, we also have, I picked this from a charity shop in Truro, Beckett Collector's Edition. Uh, episode 9, the, the Obelisk version. I don't know if they did one for Slifer. No, I think Slifer and Ra are like other episodes. So we've got issue 9. And honestly, I could... I would... If this was just the cover, even, I would still bought it. And this was a quid, by the way. It's really good. Just because... Mm, shiny holographic cover. And, uh... I have Win Them Inside. I may do a review on this magazine just its own separate video, so look out for that in the future. But, um... What else do we have? 
Uh, yes. There was also another games, well, a, a collectible shop in Truro. In fact, there's quite a few, actually, if you go there, go to the collectible shop. Honestly, worthwhile. <clears throat> to be honest. Uh, I put it inside the big motor trucker's case, yeah, they did. I didn't have time to go through all of it, but I had a big bo box of Magic and Gathering cards, so we have, uh, I picked up 10, was 10 for a pound, or 20 pence each, but hey. Get the 10, so we have uh, Captain Release, which is an old, I think, one of the, I think, second Ragnica set? I can't remember. Uh, Ardent Soldier, just a random, haha, funny, old kicker card. It's not good, but it's funny. A Wormfang Drake, another, like, again, bad card, but it has old border, and it's nice. Uh, Thornscape Apprentice, which is not terrible, I guess. It's, it's a weird mo, it's a weird, it's a weird three-color car, technically. Uh, trained Armadon, it's an elephant, which is just funny to me. It's, it's a three, three for three in double green, which honestly, playing mono green is fine. Let's just they summon an elephant. Oh, uh, we have Nezumi Shadow Watcher, I just, it's, it's a rat. And it's good. Uh, Phyrexian Bloodstock, I've been looking for the Phyrexian stuff for a while, the old Phyrexian stuff. Some of them are kind of rare. We have a old Phyrexian, and it leaves play the story target white creature you got regenerated. Eh, not bad if you can cheat into play, honestly. Uh, and Phyrexian Gargantua, which is be glad. Um, when it comes to the play, you draw two cards and lose two life. Six mana, four, four is not terrible. And if you, I guess you can copy it, it's, it's actually a really good ETB effect. Uh, Granite Shard, because it's another fifth own card that I don't have for my game B stuff. And uh, Hero of Goma Fida, I just noticed it was a uh, rare and I wanted to make it to 10. When it's or another ally in spell field and control, creature control gain and destruct one final turn. It's just, it's a good card if you want to build ally deck. I mean, I don't know anyone who builds allies, but it's there. Allies, everybody. You want allies? I want allies. I also want, I did see a couple of old birds, but they were all like really terrible. They were like, just decided to have Nothing, sure. I almost picked up an older border um, shoreline ranger though, just to add to my growing collection of old border shoreline rangers. But I wasn't sure if I had one already. I think I do, but in any case, I will be back in a moment as soon as I have built the little poly bags. And here is the first one done, swimming in from the left. Sorry, in the right. It's a little boat. It's a little basic, but honestly, that's what my first boats kind of are. It's just cool to get another drowned figure and the stone shuffle pieces. Uh, also, these in blue is just interesting to me. Like that kind of nice ocean blue. It's a nice little set. And some posters and stuff that I'll probably, uh, some of the things I'll cut out and use later for other things. It's, yeah, it's a cool little thing. I think I'm in a 7 out of 10, honestly. It's just a Boats obviously really used in Minecraft, and also just having the instructions in the magazine, so I can maybe do my own versions for like the other uh, colors of boat, for like birch and spruce, etc. It's very useful to have. So yeah, a little, little boat. I'll be back once I've done the, uh, the other mech, the mech set then. And here is a little mech. It's quite nice. The instructions, and spare a couple of pieces. Um, so that technique piece there. <coughs> um, actually, just not having much articulation, but for what it does have is pretty good. You've got two points of leg, so foot and leg. No knees, but then even the bigger mechs don't have knees. Uh, one point of arm, but well, that's fine for a little mini set. Uh, it sounds brilliantly well, honestly, fantastically well, like, and it's really got a lot of detail and a lot of sort of interesting motifs, despite its sort of size and piece count, I think it's 59 pieces. Uh, it's rather nice. Uh, some points to note, uh, again, getting gold katanas is very nice. Uh, the gold blades are always useful. These in gold with a newer style of the thinner, uh, the thinner arm pieces are better. Uh, you get some brown bar pieces, like the, the ingot pieces for that, and some gold ingot pieces here, so those are really good pieces. Uh, these lime doubles are good as well. Uh, these in blank, these sort of wooden brick pieces, you know, wooden 
one by twos, very useful in that color and very fitting. Uh, and in dark brown, we have the, the helicopter blade piece used very well here to make it a bit more wooden. Uh, obviously, the Lloyd minifig is just very useful if you don't have one of them already. Uh, probably one of the cheap ways to get a Lloyd in at least this version. Overall, just really nice, some very interesting pieces in there. Probably a very good parts pack as well. I should have probably picked up more than one, but I only really need the one for my mech collection and the rest of the stuff I can get from Bricklink. But uh, that is basically everything. Uh, except there is one more thing. <laughs> one more thing! Uh, I'm gonna clear these over for a second. All my new city stuff. And some of my too. We have some shells. So I picked up some shells from some beaches in the area. So they were very large, very thick shell. Uh, I'm not sure how to polish shells, but I will find out at some point. Maybe even if you guys can tell me. Uh, a tiny little one. I love doing these sort of friends and stuff. A few pieces of stone as well. Just like some a few rocks. I may polish this. It was very, very, looked almost like onyx when it was actually uh, on the beach side. Uh, another sort of winkly shell. Very big one. There's a lot more rigid actually. A uh, piece of marble. I could pick up a few pieces of marble because I might polish them as well. Another little winkly shell. Giant's tone is what they're called. I'm not sure what these types of shell are, but I thought they were very nice as well. Uh, a very big, I think this is part of an oyster shell? Uh, I think? Another, quite a thick one actually as well, another thick winkle. Another bit of marble. Another winkle. I don't go to the sea very often, so shadows. Uh, another, I think, oyster or something similar. But yeah, the tide was out the day that I went to do my art stuff. So I figured the tide had just gone out, so there's going to be shells in places. So I was like, mm, get the shells. Another bit of marble. Another wink. Which this one has a hole in it. This one has a little little pink brick hole. Maybe I should build a mech out of seashells. Heck. Uh, another teeny tiny little wink. Uh, I also found a little, little snaily shell as well, like a sea snail shell. Very nice. It's not a big enough sort of conch shell to uh, hear the sea out of, though. Although, apparently that's just the sound of your ears, like inside of your ears. But not the sea. But, uh,. That's an interesting little wives tail, I guess. I'm not sure what this type of shell is. I thought this was nice. The only one of that type I really found in intact condition. And then another couple of pieces of marble and then another sort of nice piece of black stone which I might get polished. Ah, there we go. Sorry, tell a lie. There was one of those as well, similar, but smaller. Another piece of blackstone. I'll probably be putting these in my bathroom for now until I uh, find a good space for them to get polished. But uh, yeah, that was everything now. Uh, except. No, I'm kidding. Uh, I did damage the magazines a bit when I pulled the uh, things off, but I don't really care all that much. But uh, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. I'll be back next time. Uh, we'll go through the magazines next time. Uh, I'll just do a quick review on. Probably all through them actually, just to see the stuff that's in them. Anyway, see you guys in the next video. Hong Kong, bye bye.